men are not allowed to have preferences, standards, and boundaries. Oh, like, yes, look at the men are, totally you are allowed. so allowed to have preferences. The the shaming language has been through the roof. It's insecure. It's controlling. You, the p word, um, like, it's it, it's been almost crazy. Like the degree to which you are trying to. St- uh, st- Fuck, what's the term? Um, you are trying to pathologize men's almost innate attraction to women who are not promiscuous. Like, oh my God, he was looking for the best word to express his point, and he came up with the suitable word for his point. But unfortunately, the word was not suitable for the comprehension level of those women. Have you seen their faces when he said pathologize? You can literally see the wheels turning while they were trying to make sense of what he said. You're pathologizing men's attraction to women who are not basically. No, I don't think well, I'm not, well, we weren't saying like you guys can't have preference. I no, but like you're put, you're put, you're saying it's public that when men it, are attracted to women who are not yeah, because promiscuous you, like, or look who at society yeah. and the way things are like it's totally like this big like the porn industry makes so much money on like like fetishizing pedophiles. Pet- about how, like, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's illegal. They, obviously, they don't actually use girls who are underage, but they do. If you look on there, there's going to be a bunch of stuff about underage things. Like, Sometimes they do actually have used girls who are underage, and okay, it just we're not going to talk because we're they, not going to talk about that. That's why, it, because it's TOS. We're not going to talk about okay. that. But uh, yes, it does happen. This is the same women who probably have an only fan account. The adult entertainment industry, as destructive as it is actually abides by the same rules as the traditional movie and entertainment industry. This is the problem with having conversations with modern women, they are so disingenuous and hypocritical that, they either never provide any solid arguments to back up their claims, or they choose the worst possibility possible to try to make a point. But I will bet my head that none of them consider only fan, and posting scantily cloud pictures of self on Instagram to be a form of adult entertainment. Um, so, okay. The double standard. So, you mentioned that why why don't what what was it that men don't want? Well, like, what's the like real like? Because I was saying that like you don't really hear women go, oh, I need a virgin, or like if she's not a virgin or he's not a virgin, I don't want it. So mm-hmm. it's like he's allowed to be a whore, but she can't. And also, like, I don't. Yeah, I don't get that. Like, Eric, can you close the door, okay by the way? For the guy to be a whore, but for the woman to be. Like very pure. Okay, well, so there's a few things. So first off, me personally, if a woman's standard is, hey, I, I don't want to date a guy who's promiscuous. I don't want to date like a guy, a guy who's a player. I think that's totally fine. I don't have a double standard there. I think it does happen to be the case that generally speaking, women care far less about body count than men do. Now, as far as the double standard goes, um, the, one of the reasons why men are sort of applauded when they can have a high body count and the woman is shamed or looked down upon mm-hmm. because she has a high body count. It has to come down. It comes down to the fact that it's impressive for a guy to be able to sleep with a lot of women, whereas it's not impressive for a woman to sleep with a lot of men. It's very easy for women to sleep with men. It's incredibly easy for women to sleep with men. Even average women, even below average women have more sexual options than like a top tier man. Mm-hmm. So that's why that double standard exists because it's, it's not impressive when women do it. And it, it, it is sort of stemmed, it, is, it does stem from, for both men and women, up until the 1960s, excuse me, up until the 1960s, sexual purity, chastity has been valued in both genders up until very recently. Birth control kind of came out in the, in the 1960s. That sort of opened up a lot of people's sexual options. And, you know, with religion, Christianity on the decline, I'm, I'm not making a religious argument here. I'm just saying culturally, we have shif- shifted quite a bit. It was the norm for thousands of years for both male and female chastity to be valued. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But so again, with the double standards, are there things that you desire in a partner that you do not possess yourself? Because you were saying, well, it's hypocritical for a guy who, if he has a high body count, he shouldn't want a girl who has a high body count. I mean, like, biologically, besides biological stuff, besides, like, I don't know, them having a dick, but, like... You don't the, know about having a dick? Yeah, like, I want them to have a dick, but I don't want... Um, I don't have one, so I'm... It's a little different, but with things um, that are, like, um... <laughs> 
that I can like can control. Women don't feel shame screaming that they want a man who is over six feet tall, makes six figures a year, has a six inch eggplant, and whatnot. Women are free to express what they want from men, and more often than not, most of the things that they ask from men are out of the man's control, like height, are very hard and time consuming to acquire like wealth. But the moment men express their standards, they are met with contempt, because from a very young age women are told that it is all about them, and that men should accept them just the way they are. Basically, women live in a Disney princess fairy tale, and try to make men to make that fairy tale to become the reality of the world themselves meaning like personality or like body count or whatever yeah i mean i would like for us to reciprocate the same things okay let me ask you a couple questions and i just want other people to potentially weigh in here um are there things you desire well do you agree with her do you agree with what she just said mm -hmm. so so all the traits that you want in a partner you must possess yourself physically i don't think that it's the same thing because Okay. Her, like chastity is an experience thing. It's something you've chosen to do. Well, it could the be way you look isn't something you choose. Yeah, okay. I think I, you know. Sure. So I don't think appearance-wise that has anything to do with it. But in terms of like their past experiences, sure. Okay. So you kind of, I mean, I the without the way I was going to attack this was, women want men who are tall. Yet they are not tall themselves. Well, see, yeah, that's. But there's more. There's. I have more. I'm tall. Huh? I am tall. Okay. Did you say the minimum height you want for a guy? Yeah, I said preferably six foot or above, which okay. six foot is just like an inch taller than me. Sure. You, but you, you're five eleven. You're quite tall. However, generally, generally speaking, most women are attracted to tall men yet they are not tall themselves. That is you desiring something in a person, which I would say someone's height is far more superficial than someone's body count. So there's that. Women want men who are funny, but they may not necessarily be funny themselves. Women want men who are charismatic, yet they may not be charismatic themselves. But this well, is like taking something like life experiences. Yeah, and also- Life experience, I, I mean, how some, okay, you're, if you're promiscuous, that says something about your your values. Why? That it's how you value sex. You if if you're promiscuous, sex to you you've decoupled intimacy from sex to some degree. Mm -hmm. You view sex as sport. It's yeah. just sport fucking. Mm -hmm. Whereas some people view sex as this intimate thing that they want to have with someone in a with, within the confines of a monogamous relationship and it's fine if you want to do casual sex that's fine if you want to do that but it is a metric with which some guy might want to disqualify you i just need to jump here real quick women want to be able to do whatever they want but they don't want to bear the responsibilities that come with doing whatever i mean and if you you're said promiscuous devalue you. devalue you yeah you said there's less value for people who are more promiscuous I, I don't think that's ex quite what I said, but what do you mean? I think a lot of these people, these men you talk about who want virgins, see women with more body, a higher body count, as less valuable. They, in, I've heard a, those words. In a, okay, so you're talking like, so there's a sexual market value, relationship mm -hmm. market value. So value in the sense of, not your value as a human being, not your, not in that sense, but in your, your value on the dating marketplace. Like you have. Okay. The guy who works at Starbucks, who's average looking, has less value on the dating marketplace than does Henry Cavill. Yeah. Or like a really attractive guy. And you might say, Brian, that's wrong. Okay. If you want to be politically correct, fine. The, the reality is, is that there are certain people that are more attractive than other people. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. But I'm confused. Wait, what does this have to do with the fact that well, I said... Well, I'm responding to her, but But like the, um, how I said I would want my person to reciprocate the same things, but not like physical, because oh. obviously that's different. Oh, so it's, it, it only applies when it benefits you. 
No, like if we have the same like things, that's like, let's say I, obviously you want someone who you're similar to or you don't want someone you're like completely opposite of, but like mm-hmm. if I'm a person who doesn't go out, I'm going to want someone who doesn't go out and that's fine. Sure. So if I'm someone who has a high body count or a low body count, I would want the same thing for my partner. Mm-hmm. How is that like wrong like and how is that's that, a double like, standard and it's a double standard for the guys to be like oh well i can have a high body count but you can't i mean obviously there's some girls out there who would love that and will take it but i'm just saying for me i wouldn't do it men and women have different requirements when it comes to the person they are willing to be with generally speaking women want a man who can provide protect and lead and men want a woman who is young beautiful and is nice to be around or cooperative if you want Men and women have different approach to sex, for men it is more physical, while to women some sort of emotional connection is needed. And that's the reason why women who have had multiple intimate partners are hard to be with for a long romantic relationship, because 9 times out of 10, they carry the emotional damages caused by their previous relationships. Getting laid is easy for women, they just have to ask a man, but for a man, he needs to have something that makes him stand out of the crowd, and most of those things come with hard work and time but a woman just have to be born beautiful and that's it. Now, back to the standards topic. Women don't like it when men have standards because 1. Meeting standards is hard work, and most women are lazy, they can't put in the work, so, shaming and trying to guilt men for having standards is the easy way out for most of them. The second reason why women shame men for having standards is because most of them have been raised to think that they are the prize, that all they need is to just show up, That's why we have sentences like, know how to treat a lady, but there isn't, know how to treat a man. That's also why women know what they want from men, but the moment they are asked what do they bring to the table or what is the man getting in return, they can never give a clear and concise answer. Because all their lives, they have been taught that all they need is for them to just show up. Third reason, most women have no respect for men so they think that men should be happy that women even consider them. And more often than not, The kind of women who think like that are the women who bought into the strong and independent woman who needs no man movement and they have a sexual past worthy of the biggest streetwalker of all time. The only thing I can say is that, any woman who question your standards as a man, especially when they link to body count, it is not even worth to continue talking, walk away, to the streets she belongs, and to the streets she shall remain.